Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, what I want to try and do is open up some packs. I know the Indomitian Sue and the Steve Young 24 hour cards are still in the game, able to be pulled right now. I have some decent coins. I have 2.8 million right now after selling Barry Sanders, and I've made a couple of different upgrades to my team since then. If you guys didn't see the update video that came out earlier, earlier this morning, so be sure to head on over to my channel and uh, check that video out as well. Uh, but we are going to open up these packs here. We're going to see if our 24-hour luck can continue. If it does, I am going to be extremely excited, not expecting anything. But uh, I am going to try and open up, uh, let's do 100,000 worth of packs today, which, what does that translate to? I don't even know, like 13 or so packs. Uh, so I will go ahead and do that. And then if, depending on how things go, I might decide to open up an all Madden pack as well. So we're getting close to the end of the time that these are available. I'm, I'm recording this quite late in the evening, to be honest with you guys. Uh, so I'm, you know, not really expecting much, but I've gotten a lot of great pulls by pulling in the evening time, late at night. I mean, right now it's like 2 a.m. So hopefully we can get something decent here, but let's see what we can pull today, guys. We're going to be pulling until we get back to, like, what, 2.7 or so million at least. Dante Rosario is our gold for this pack, so not starting off too strong here. Hopefully we can uh, go up from here. A lot of garbage in a lot of these packs still. It's kind of sad, man. You would think that at some point they would give you, like, a little bit better stuff. But, nope, you pretty much still just get trash bronzes and trash silvers most of the time. Let's keep moving on, though, and see if we can get anything decent here. I have Ryan Hartline. So really not anything out of this pack either. And uh, I want to hear from you guys as well. What are you guys pulling in, the, in these packs today? Did you guys, I, I saw a whole bunch of people that got uh, the Steve Young glitch, as it's being called, which was uh, if you did the solo challenge earlier this morning, um, it, it, when it first came out, apparently you automatically got Steve Young. So we do pull a Tremont Williams here, an NFL Movers Tremont Williams. That's actually a pretty damn good cornerback card. I'll have to go in and compare that to what I currently have here. Uh, see if he's start worthy for me. I kind of think he's probably going to be better in man coverage than zone. But let's go in here and take a look. Because for me, I'm not a big man coverage guy. Yeah, he's 96 man, 93 zone. So um, that's at least a good card though. That's a good pull. A good sign that we're not going with complete trash here. And I always keep my 70 or aboves because I always forget if they're rare or not. But uh, I was talking about that Steve Young glitch. So if you guys are unaware what happened, basically uh, earlier this morning when, they, when the solo challenge first came out, the weekly solo challenge, people were actually pulling, instead of getting like the, the collectible that you would normally get for doing the solo, you were getting the 24 hour Steve Young. And like a shitload of people got it. So uh, that's why you're going to see that that Steve Young is probably not going to be the most expensive Ultimate Legend as far as like the uh, the 24-hour cards. It'll still be expensive, don't get me wrong, because it's a ridiculously good card. But um, it's not going to be as expensive as like, you know, like the Mike Vick, for example, or, or different cards like that, just because it's not nearly as rare. Uh, so I think that that's something to definitely look into. If you're looking to snipe a really good quarterback, it's possible that you might be able to come across that boss, Steve Young, at some point uh, for cheaper than what a lot of these other cards are going for. Um, but obviously, they did take that out of the game if you guys didn't know that. So, uh, yeah, I didn't get it, unfortunately. I, I signed on way too late to even have a chance at getting something like that. But if you guys got that boss, Steve Young, congratulations. You guys should let me know in the comments section below as well. So we're still ripping packs here, trying to get something decent. Josh Scobie, nothing real good in this pack so far. Corey Irvin, no. Really nothing out of most of these. We did pull that Tremont Williams, but um, it hasn't really been too great so far. So hope you guys are having better luck. Now, I said this before, and the last time that I said something like that, then, like, the next pack I pulled Barry. Oh, oh, oh okay, we got a blue card. When I saw that blue, I was like, <gasps> I forget, though. The, the it's, It flashes black. Uh, not blue whenever you uh, whenever you pull anything decent. So we do get the Jared Cook vertical. And if you guys haven't seen that, Jared Cook actually has really good attributes. Uh, the 98 overall combine card that you can get. I think it's 98 overall. Uh, but it has like 96 speed, which is ridiculous for a tight end, obviously. Uh, and I think it's going for under 100,000 points at this point. So that's a pretty damn good buy if you're looking for a fast tight end. We get an elite there with Sebastian Vollmer. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this pack as far as anything decent being pulled in it. Um, it, you know, I, I want to say like 
Cards like this, the 87 overall Sebastian Vollmer, need to be more common in packs. Because at this point, nobody's really starting that unless they're getting new into Madden. And why would you not want the people who are brand new to at least have decent teams? An 87 overall is not good enough to compete against most people, but it's certainly good enough to at least start on if you're brand new to Mutt. And uh, these cards, like Sebastian Vollmer, are still ridiculously rare to pull. We've pulled two elites. I mean, we got that collectible, don't get me wrong, that was nice. Uh, but we pulled Tremont Williams and Sebastian Vollmer. That's all we've pulled right now, and we've pulled almost 70,000 worth of packs. As we get another one, Junior Gallette. Okay, so we get a final edition there. Nice. Uh, but like I was saying, though, the, some of these cards are just so damn rare. Um, and, and just like the, the base elites that aren't even good. So, I, I don't know. I It really frustrates me that that's the way that this game is. But um, I haven't really taken a look at this Junior Gallette. I'm not really sure if it's any good. 87 speed, eh, decent. Uh, but it does go into the final edition to Marius Thomas set, which I know a lot of people are big fans of. So maybe this card's a little bit rare. Hopefully it is, because I really want to uh, get some decent pulls out of here. Let me know, guys, if that card's rare. I'm going to go check it out after this video anyway. But um, I always love it when people leave comments like, Oh my gosh, look, when you pulled a really rare card, you didn't even really notice. Oh, sometimes I just don't know, man. Uh, I, I'm not on top of like the super rare cards like other people are. I don't have uh, as much time to be looking at those things. So uh, we get nothing at all out of this pack. Uh, Steven Nicholas, I don't think, goes for anything. So we got about 30k left or so, which is going to be about four packs for us. And then we'll see uh, if I maybe if I pull, I'm going to say this if I pull one more elite between now and then, I will go ahead and open up that um, that pack. The, the all Madden pack. So we get we actually got two golds out of this. We got a Demonte Moore and then a Carlos Rogers. So that's not too bad. And then we got Antoine Barnes. Oh, we got three golds. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope that's why I opened up a freaking all Madden pack. I'm sitting here going, what the hell? So I accidentally open up an all Madden pack when I'm talking about opening up an all Madden pack. But we still didn't get a damn uh, elite card. So typical EA on that. This might be rare though. Antoine Barnes. I don't know. Uh, you guys will have to let me know in the comment section below. So we opened up quite a few uh, golds in that pack, but really nothing special unless this card is super rare and I'm unaware of it. Um, but anyways, again, we'll go through here just because I didn't mean to do that. We'll open up four more regular pro packs, and then again, if uh, if I pull an elite in those, I will open up one more all Madden pack. So you guys are getting a little bonus all Madden pack there. Uh, Weston Richburg, I doubt that card's rare, but it could be. Like I said, guys, I, I just keep all of my 70 or above silvers just because sometimes they're rare. And uh, if they're not rare, then I'll just get rid of them. But a lot of times I uh, I just want to go in there and, you know, get something decent if, if it's worth it to, to hold on to it. And nothing. By the way, Ramsey's Barden. I had a game, like a, a freaking um, uh, head to head seasons game at one point where Ramsey's Barden just destroyed my cornerbacks and it was just so frustrating and it was like this shitty Ramsey's Barden I'm pretty sure he was just throwing it up to Ramsey's freaking Barden <sighs> EA 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 all right Corey Webster that could be a decent card just because he's not on a team I'm not sure um and when I say decent card I mean the actual attributes are crap but it could be rare um let's see here got what two more i think and if we don't pull an elite that'll be it and if we do then we're gonna pull one more all madden pack let's go through this one quick nothing nothing i'm pretty sure yeah just ass all right so we got one more pack here let's see if we can pull a freaking elite so that we can get an all madden pack come on come on ea don't troll me no elites damn it damn it so, guys, that is going to do it for the pack opening video today. We did open up an All Madden pack anyway. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I hope you guys have good luck pulling this in Domicong Sue and the Steve Young because, uh, man, those cards are really, really nasty. Like, in Domicong Sue right now, I'm going to go check it out on the auction block. Obviously, if you guys aren't interested in this, if you've already looked at it, uh, go ahead and, and drop off of this video if you'd like to. But, man, the Domicong Sue that came out i gotta show you guys this thing if you haven't seen the attributes on this thing it is freaking ridiculous the 24 hour suit i just want to compare it right now to my defensive tackle because dear god look at this thing okay i have mean joe green who is pretty damn beastly he's a freaking ultimate legend right he doesn't even compare 
to Indomitox too. He's literally worse in everything. And like substantially worse in most things. Take a look at this stuff, guys. 90 speed. Not 103 strength, 100 tackling, 105 block shed, 105 block shed. That is just insane. With 103 power move, 88 finesse move, 98 play rec, and 101 pursuit. Just holy shit. That's all I can even freaking say at this card, man. It is just so ridiculous. 102 acceleration as well, by the way. Yeah, this card is just absolutely insane at, at pretty much everything that you would be looking for as far as defensive tackle goes. It even has speed. That's the insane thing about it. It even has speed. So yeah, in, in my opinion, this is definitely the best defensive tackle that is in the game. Um, probably will be the best defensive tackle that comes out. Even if you compare the regular, uh, oh wait, this is the uh, nickname, excuse me. Uh, let me find the regular Ultimate Legend because even that card is just freaking ridiculous. Let's see if it comes up here. And eh, that's all they have. Uh, they don't have the regular one up, damn it. Well, we can't really compare them unless I go onto the trade block and find them. But uh, anyway, though, that, that card even still has better attributes than Mean Joe Green as well. So, I mean, my goodness, guys. I hope you guys have good luck pulling those things. If you did, if you pulled a Sue, you are in the money, man. Because that Sue is going for, like, more than the Barry Sanders was going for last week. So, hope you guys pulled that thing. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. If you got the benefit of the Steve Young glitch as well, let me know below. Congratulations if you guys did pull any of those things. Hope to see you guys over on the stream today on twitch.tv forward slash clickwithtv. We will be playing for some pretty nice cards. So I hope you guys come over, uh, join me, have some fun, play against me, and potentially win one of those free cards. So see you guys over there on Twitch. Thanks again for all the support and all the, everything that you guys do for me. And I will talk to you guys again soon.